to Charmouth on the Jurassic Coast. We're here today to talk about all things fossils. Welcome Georgie, Hello. Georgie Cole from the Jurassic Coast Trust. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Georgie is a fossil warden and what is a day in the life of your role here like? So typically most of my role is safety orientated so I'll be making sure that people aren't climbing on the cliffs and digging into the cliffs to keep them safe but also protect the World Heritage Site. And then the other aspect is just getting excited about fossils and helping people find fossils along the shoreline. Amazing. How many people do you get on the beach each day? Oh, it's hard to say. Um, through the Heritage Centre, sometimes we can get over 100,000 people a year just going through their doors alone, and it'll be much, much more than that visiting the beach. So definitely hundreds of thousands of people are enjoying Charmouth every single every year. Every day. So it's been a busy summer. Yes. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, what's been the most interesting find that you've made on the beach? I would say my most interesting and favourite find is a shark fin spine from a shark called a hybodus. Um, I'm really, really interested in sharks because I'm a marine biologist by training and I did some of my research on, on uh, sharks and, and particularly sharks that have fin spines. So to find one that is over 200 million years old wow. is just amazing. So that would have been swimming all in, in this area all exactly. that time ago. Exactly. exactly. That's incredible. It's incredible. And you've got in the Heritage Centre here, there's the Ichthyosaur, isn't it, that's been famous on TV as well in yeah, the kind yeah. of BBC documentary. The, the so. sea dragon, the famous ichthyosaur that was found on Monmouth Beach towards Lyme Regis um, and it's been on display and opened by Sir David Attenborough himself wow. and it's free to visit so you can see it anytime, anytime you like. That's brilliant. So today we're going to do a little bit of fossil hunting, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that we need to be conscious of if we're going to go and look for fossils? Definitely. I would say your top thing to be careful about is safety, really. People often forget because they're so excited about finding <laughs> fossils. Actually, this is quite a dangerous and dynamic environment at the moment because we've had very hot weather followed by very well, very wet weather um, we're finding that the cliffs are moving on on the on the daily um, and I think people expect the falls to be big and catastrophic with lots of warning but even falls that are small with rocks like this they can not uh, not make for a good day if you're at the base of the cliff so stay well away from the cliff make sure you check the tides as well so making sure that you're collecting while the tide is going out and also making sure that you're not being pushed close to the cliffs or cut off so in terms of safety, those are the two things you really need to be careful of. The good news is, is that all the greatest fossils are on the beach anyway. Lots of the material that's falling out of the cliff is just mud, so you're not going to have much luck. So have a look along where the seaweed line is. You'll see there's different fossils that wash up, sometimes in the iron pyrite or the fool's gold. Looks very much like a piece of gold and you'll find perfect little ammonites amongst that stuff. That's, I'm so excited now. <laughs> so should we go and see what we can find yeah, along the coast? Look. That's brilliant. Let's go. Good stuff. <laughs> Charmouth looking for fossils. You may be wondering what has this got to do with digital innovation? We're now going to hear from Guy from the Jurassic Coast Trust. I'm off to get an ice cream. Back to the studio. Well, it's uh, great to be joined here on the sofa. Lisa's finished on the beach. I, I wonder if you did find a fossil or not. Maybe we'll never know. The, room, the so. rumors are, are rife. Um, but uh, welcome, Guy, from the Jurassic Coast Trust. Thank you. Great um, to be here. And how on earth does this all link with digital? Tell us more. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, so here in Dorset, we are very, very privileged to be the home of England's only natural world heritage site. You may have heard of it. It's called the Jurassic Coast. It's 95 miles long. It stretches across uh, the majority of Dorset's coastline and a fair chunk of East Devons as well. And it's an absolutely incredible place, as everyone who lives here knows. Um, there's so much to do here, so much uh, walking and, yeah, obviously fossil collecting, as we saw there with, with Georgie. 
And to celebrate all of that, we have just launched a new website. So we can see it on the screen here. Um, I can definitely offer a little prize for anyone who can guess where that, uh, where that was filmed. It's uh, actually over the border into Devon. Uh, but we do incorporate, as I said, both, both counties here. Uh, and yeah, this has just been launched and it's a tremendous opportunity to promote the area. Um, we've got some absolutely amazing stories to tell about different places you can go and visit, different activities you can do, different places you can go out to eat and basically have a whole Jurassic Coast experience. All the content on our site is written by our experts and our team. So we've got a whole team of very experienced scientists, paleontologists, geologists who uh, make sure that everything is up to date and correct. And it really sort of enhances people's stay. So you can go and have a lovely stay in a beautiful campsite near the, uh, near the sea. And then you can pop on our website and you can read all about the fossils that you can find there or the creatures that used to live there millions of years ago. And, you know, I'm not a scientist by, by training at all my uh, backgrounds in marketing and fundraising, but I've just totally fallen in love with the place uh, over the eight years that I've been with the Trust. So it's the sort of thing, once you get into it and you start reading and learning more about it, it's, it's incredible. And it's all right on our doorstep, which we're really thrilled to have. And, and this tourism, uh, sort of promoting the, the tourism mm -hmm. aspect of it, is, yep. if, are you finding people travelling from a long way to, to, to come and enjoy the... The Jurassic Coast? Absolutely. Well, we, we have the privilege of being a, gr a global brand. So you see the Jurassic Coast featured in programs, television programs and documentaries and even Hollywood films. You know, the film Ammonite, which came out a few years ago with Kate Windsor. It is constantly in the news. Um, we get a lot of free publicity, uh, which I'm very thankful for. And it's just somewhere that captures people's imagination, uh, no matter what they're into. And a lot of people have it on their bucket list to travel here at some point. And I field a lot of inquiries from people from all over the world who want to come here and, and, and fossil hunt or just walk along the beach. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really quite amazing. And you mentioned you'd been sort of captured by the, the excitement. Tell us about your own personal sort of fossil hunting experiences. <laughs> Have you found anything big or exciting in your... In your uh, no, I've found some going? lovely little ammonites. I'm very happy with that. Um, I definitely uh, don't have the, uh, the patience required to find anything larger than that. Um, but I absolutely love... I actually live in Chalmers, so um, it's a bit of a busman's holiday for me, going fossil collecting. But I do love it, and uh, I've got a little two-year-old girl as well, and she's found her first bell and an ammonite already. So uh, that's going to yeah. be a great journey for her walking in the footsteps of Mary Anning. And it's, it's kind of uh, bringing together the, the sort of being outdoors, spending time with the family, and this sort of scientific and, and learning about dinosaurs and fossils and the geology of the area as well. Absolutely, yeah, it all ties together. We've, we've just got so much here, so many different stories we can tell and so many different things that people can experience. <laughs>